Rubber cement is a popular glue that is my go-to choice for collage work. You might be wondering, what is rubber cement exactly? It's a special type of glue made from latex. It dries quickly and allows you to reposition materials without tearing them. It also doesn't wrinkle and pucker paper like many other glues would. This is what makes it ideal for a variety of paper projects. If you've never used it, I recommend practicing first with scrap papers. For my demonstration, I have gathered Bristol board cut pieces of copy paper and newspaper and some Elmer's rubber cement. I'll share links to these materials in the description. There are three ways to use rubber cement for your paper projects. I will demonstrate with these two types of paper for each method. Method number one, brush a thin, even layer of rubber cement onto the back of your material. I recommend placing it over scrap paper so that you don't have to worry about the excess glue. Then immediately press it onto your desired surface. Method number two, brush a thin layer of rubber cement to both surfaces. then immediately press together. Notice how it can move around at first. Be sure to press down with your clean fingers. Inevitably, I end up with some glue on at least one of my fingers. Method number three, brush a thin layer to both surfaces again. Always try to cover the edges. This time, we will wait for the glue to dry before pressing together. It will go from wet to tacky pretty fast, around two to three minutes. Be sure to cap your bottle so that the glue doesn't dry up. When the papers dry, you will still see a sheen. Now you can press your pieces together. You can get a decent adhesion in a few minutes with any of the methods. The longer you wait, the stronger the bond. I let an hour pass for this demo. Now for the fun part, how will they peel up? Method number one is peeling up quite nicely. For collage work with lightweight materials, I like this method the best. It's faster, but more importantly, it removes the easiest without tearing. It does tear a little at the top with newspaper, although it might not have had I been more careful. Method number two for the copy paper is actually peeling up without tearing, but I'm really pulling here. This method gives you the strongest, most permanent bond. With a newspaper, this method in no way is not going to tear. It's destroying the piece. Method number three is interesting in that it still delivers a pretty strong bond, but peels up more easily than method number two. Surprisingly, it's peeling up nicely with this newspaper piece. This method is great for mounting a finished work to a thick paper or board. It's less messy, yet still agreeable for repositioning. Glue sticks have their place, but rubber cement's ability to peel up without tearing makes it a better choice for experimenting with collage work. My glue stick pieces almost always tear if I try to reposition. So yes, a glue stick is fast and less messy, but you also better be sure about your placement. There's one more advantage to rubber cement. Its glue residue is easy to remove. You can get this rubber eraser or just use your fingers. I prefer the rubber eraser because it also picks up the glue. Rubber cement is a really versatile adhesive, ideal for collage work and other paper projects. Its ability to create both repositionable and permanent bonds makes it stand out from other glues, like glue sticks, which often tear materials during repositioning. So whether you're working with lightweight or thicker paper, rubber cement offers flexibility and easy cleanup of its removable residue. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more creative tips.